Find a comfortable place where you can relax. Make sure your phone is turned off. And just start breathing and consciously relaxing and letting go of it. Realizing that it's completely normal and natural if your mind starts jumping around, if it starts wandering. If you start feeling discomfort or if you start wanting to roll your shoulders, do it. And then choose to still, choose to settle. And then begin imagining, visualizing, or pretending that your body is an empty glass container. Your legs are made of glass. You can see through them. Your torso is made of glass. You can see through it. Your arms, hands, neck, and even head are made of glass. Even the hair on your head is clear grass, glass strands falling down around your face, down your back. And that you can see through yourself. And in your mind's eye, see yourself raising your arms above your head and looking through them and seeing the room beyond. Look down at your feet in your mind's eye and see those glass feet standing on the floor and you can see the flooring beneath your feet. Look down at your hips and in your mind's eye, you can see the chair. To see yourself as an empty glass container. And as you breathe, use your intention to fill yourself up. To fill yourself completely up with breath. And that breath might have a bit of a color and it might not either way is fine but just see that breath start swirling in that empty glass container that is you and then as you continue to breathe and to look through yourself I want you to let your mind start thinking about all of the things that make you, you. I want you to start thinking about the list of characteristics, beliefs, ideas, passions, love. Everything that makes you, you. And it's almost like this little assembly line. As you think of something on the next in-breath, you bring that quality or that characteristic in to you. And you start filling up that glass body. And as you do, you start taking form. You start becoming yourself. The positive, the negative, the things that you love about yourself, the things that you wish to change, you are embodying it all. Your love for other people, breathe it in. Let it become you. The thoughts in your head, breathe them in. Let it become you and begin to embody yourself. The beliefs, the passions, the desires, the thoughts. Your energy, your determination, 
Breathe it all in and let it become you. And as you breathe, you will embody yourself. And you will start becoming. You will start becoming you. Becoming more of you. Becoming all of you. And as you become you, you will start noticing things and beliefs and ideas and habits that can't quite really fill inside of you. For some reason, you can't quite get them to come in or you bring them in, but they leak out. They leak out your elbow. They leak out your side. And it just feels awkward. And when those things can't quite come in or they leak back out, it results in you surviving, but not thriving. Because you're breathing in something that's not really yours to breathe in. You're breathing in an identity that somebody told you you should be. You are bringing in a belief of how you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to do. You're bringing in an idea that doesn't really fit this glass form of who you are and it doesn't fit. So as you do that, just begin to notice what doesn't fit what pieces can't really be embodied because they don't belong in your body. They don't belong in your body. And instead of trying to embody them, let them go. Just let them go. It won't fit because it is not you. Breathe. And just notice how you feel when you embody yourself. And how you feel when you let the rest go. Notice energetic darts that have been thrown at you. Notice whoppers softball size whoppers that have come at you. Notice where people have thrown a football size of energy that's maybe hit you in the back of the head. Notice how betrayal maybe feels like a stab in the back. Just notice where that is and how it hits and shatters the outside of the body but that it's not you. And when you notice those things, you can shake it off like a dog might shake. You can use your hands and swat it the way you might swat at a mosquito or swoosh a hornet or a wasp that is coming to sting you. If a wasp is coming to attack, think about that energetic dance of how you would get away and you would swat and you would move and you would dive. And you might need to do that in your mind's eye in real life to avoid this energy that is not your own from coming at you and damaging 
this glass shell that is your body. Remembering that the body can be shattered both from the inside out as well as from the outside in. But yes, other people can throw those darts at us. Other people can stab us in the back. Other people can create harm. But that we too can create harm with our thoughts, with our beliefs, by forcing ourselves into molds we don't fit in, by contorting ourselves in an attempt to please, conform, and perform for others, always at our own expense. And remember that even when things do damage this glass shell that is not your body, even when something shatters, the shattering is not permanent. The shatter happens to allow energy to leak out that is not your own. The shatter allows the energy out. It allows the energy that is not yours to keep inside. The shattering is good because it allows you to release. Breathe. Relax. Scan this empty glass shell that is your body. And notice where it's shattered. Notice where it's been cracked. And as you inhale and continue to bring more air into your lungs, more air into the glass container that is this body, I want you to feel the pressure inside build and the force of that energy push out those cracks. And yes, you can exhale whenever you need to, but then inhale again with a big sip of air, creating some pressure, some tension in that body to force out all that is not yours. To force out everything that is not yours to keep in your body. To allow you the room and the freedom to embody yourself. So you no longer have to keep things outside of you that are yours. And so you no longer have to keep anything inside of you that is not yours. Continue this process of breathing. Inhaling, holding, creating a little bit of pressure and releasing through the cracks all that is not yours. Knowing that as you do, you are going to be allowing your body to heal. That as you release that poison, that has been held within your body. The shattering will mend on its own because the poison is out. Continue this process of breathing and holding and letting that poison seep out, that energy seep out. as long as you need to. Whether you do it all now, or some now and some later, it doesn't matter. 
Do it as long and as often as you see fit. And eventually you will embody yourself. You will know what freedom and wholeness truly feels like. You will know what it feels like to be free, to be you, to be unencumbered by other people's energy, other people's toxicity. You will know what it means to be free, to express all that you most authentically are inside. Take all the time that you need. When you are ready, you will take a quicker breath. It kind of feels like a snap and then a long sighing release. Your eyes will flutter open. You will look left, right, center, and you will return to full awakened consciousness. Knowing that, that which should not be in your body has been released. That which needs to be in your body will be integrated. And all of those cracks will have begun the process of repair. And so it is.